Hey, Shalom, Maki. I'm Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Once again, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Makakadash. I want to send double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. I want to send much peace, love, and salutations to you, Aki. I'm out there pushing in diligence and in, in, in the spirit of sincerity and truth. This is the brother Ariala. This lesson is going to be about hey, man, you got to put pressure on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. For him to send salvation to us, man. You you gotta be calling out to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and putting pressure on him to get us up out of here, man. Cause this place is full of death, wickedness, and destruction for our people, man. So the hopeful elect, those of us who are who are repenting, those of us who are converting back to the way of our righteous forefathers and coming into the will of the of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you gotta be putting that pressure, man. Our ancient forefathers was putting pressure on the heavenly father to save him and we got to put pressure too now you know yashawamba was mentioning this he was talking about how he was once he was praying and he and kind of it was kind of like he was cursing out yahweh like save us man don't don't leave us here man you know and when you go back and you read uh david psalms when you read the writings of, of abraham you read some of the uh, some of the things that jeremiah said that ezra said they were pleading unto the Heavenly Father, man, for salvation. And we got to come in that same fervent spirit to plead to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to save us out of this place. So I want to read a few scriptures that highlight that point, go over those points, and the Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to base it, uh, uh, things off this Psalm 79, and then Lord willing, we'll move around to uh, other scriptures. With no further ado, this is Psalm 79 and 1, a psalm, a psalm of Asaph. O power, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have been defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. And hey, and ever since the scattering of our nation has gotten even worse than that, man. Now we've scattered uh, across the four corners of the earth, taking perpetual L's underneath the, the most demonic man in the history of the world, man. Esau, man. And, he, and Esau is now in, in the fullness of his power, man. So we are in complete derision everywhere across the world, man. You, you can't walk down the street without the threat of being arrested, shot. You gotta, you gotta be mindful of, of how you come off to, to, to your enemies, man. You gotta, you gotta walk around as a beta male, man. Okay? We don't have no type of power in this place, okay? Verse 5 says, How long, Lord, wilt thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen, that they have not... Uh, that they uh, have not known thee and upon the kingdoms they have not called upon thy name for they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place and that's what we that's what we call him out for man you know we be saying y'all about to shout man take down this place man when you pray in the morning time when you pray at night man you praying that y'all about to shout hey man send death and destruction man shalak rayam why mashapatim why nashim send fires send judgments send evils man to this place, all right, to this wicked kingdom that's against the will of the heavenly Father, man. Verse um, verse eight says, "Oh, remember, not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercies speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O oh, O oh, O oh God of our salvation, O oh power of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake." Because he, Yahweh Shem Yoshai, put his name on us, man. So we're asking the Heavenly Father to purge us away from our sins. And how's he doing that? Through the salvation, uh, uh, through Yahweh Shai. We're asking for the return of Yahweh uh, Shai and, and, and for the redemption of, of Yahweh Shem Yoshai's chosen people to be completed. Okay? You got to constantly put that pressure into the heavens, man. All right? You got to constantly be pushing that out there because... Man, if we, if we, if we, if that salvation don't come, we'll be destroyed, man. We'll be uh, uh, ruined, okay? This is in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. And um, verse 6 says, 
For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right? When you look at uh, homosexuality, rape, robbery, and murder is being pushed all across the uh, planet Earth. Uh, 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 people are eating the wrong foods. The air is polluted. Everything is defiled, man. The, the liars and the, and the deceitful are the ones who are basically made famous in this place. Those who are devil worshiper, all, all manners of idolatry is pushing this place, man. You know? Righteousness is cast down. If you want to do the right thing, you got you to hide it. You will pray. Okay? It says, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, uh, saith the Lord, and you know, one other thing is they're going to push this, this chip, man. They're going to push the mark of the beast. And they're going to be forcing that on everybody. So we got to pray that, you know, the Most High gets up, get, get us up out of here, man. At least you be caught up in this devil system. Okay? It says, therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So, hey, man, you got to continue to push it out there. This place is wicked, man. How y'all about me all shot? Send death and destruction to this place, man. Send, send all, send all those things you promised to the wicked, to the world, and redeem your elect. Redeem those promised people that you prescribed, man. Okay. Verse nine says, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay. And so, hey, man, that that's what we're fighting for. For those of, of us that are fighting to, to be saved through Yahweh Shah, through the redemption that he, that he set, through his sacrifice, we asking Yahweh Shah to avenge us, man. We waiting on the Lord. We waiting on the Lord to come and carry out judgment on the planet Earth. Okay? That's what we fighting for, right? Now, read this in um, Revelation well, Revelation chapter 6. Verse 9, it says, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell in the earth? Okay? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled so we calling on Yahweh Shai, man to fulfill that promise man of, of, of the people who, who, who fell for the truth for them to be raised up upon Yahweh Shai's return hey you gotta put pressure on Yahweh Shai, man put pressure on Yahweh man put pressure on Yahweh Shai to come back to come and, and bring their glory to the planet earth that's why we're putting up all these videos we're going out there to the highways and byways. We're exhorting one another, man. We stay fasting and prayed up, praying for one another continually, man, anointing each other. Staying in that spirit, man, of, of, of salvation, of the kingdom coming, man. You know? This is what all our ancient uh, forefathers was looking for. And we come in that same stead. We come in that same light. Okay? But now we pray, hey, this is the last go around. This is the last go around for all the wickedness that's going on on the planet Earth. Okay? This is the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 7. It says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? Okay? And so that's why, you know, if the Spirit is heavy upon the apostles and, and, and different elders to go out here and push, man. To go out here and continually exhort and, and prophesy, you know, putting that like, like we like we saying, putting that pressure. Save us, Lord! Don't leave! Don't let us stay out here. You know what I mean? You know, get us out of this wicked place. You know, okay? Because darkness is just, is just is set for our people, man. Okay, this is in Baruch, the third chapter. You know what? I'll start at the top. I'll read the whole. Baruch chapter 3, verse 1, it says, The Lord Almighty, power of Israel, the soul in anguish, 
of the soul in anguish, the troubled spirit cries unto thee. And brothers, you should be crying unto the, uh, the Most High. You should be crying to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Hear, Shema, Yahweh, and have mercy. For thou, for, the, for thou art merciful. And have pity upon us, because we have sinned before thee. For thou, in, uh, for thou endurest forever, and we perish utterly. O Lord Almighty, thou the Thou power of Israel, hear now the prayer of the dead Israelites and of their children, which have sinned before thee, and not hearken unto the voice of their of their the voice of thee, their power. For the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O Lord. Will, will we praise okay so then that's what we're doing man we we, we we crying out to the heavenly father man okay we we sin we went off okay you 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 hey we, we we've been completely utterly broken and there's really no hope when you look around and you look at the so-called negro latino and native american and the rest of the israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth you ain't got no power you, you, you literally it's the it's the, it's the fourth quarter and you down by you down by a hundred. Okay, we need a miracle. And that miracle is gonna come through the return of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha to the planet Earth, man. That glorious power coming and reintroducing the, the world to who the true God is, who the who the true supreme being is. Okay. Verse 7 says, For this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. Is that not what we out here doing? Is that what we're not out here pushing for? Okay. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that, that sinned before thee. You know, and that's what we go out there and read the book of Isaiah. Cry thou, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show our people that transgression. That's what we're doing, man. We're calling it to mind. Look, we broke the law, statutes, commandments. We broke the covenant that we, that we kept with Yahweh. But a new covenant it has been has been sealed and promised to us that those that will receive it through the Spirit, man, through Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's the way we're gonna be able to achieve that promise that was made to our people is to follow that new covenant underneath the order of Melchizedek. Okay, verse eight says, "Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all thine iniquities of our fathers, which departed." Uh, from the Lord our power. Hear Israel's Shema Yasha Allah, the commandments of life give ear to understand wisdom. Okay? And so that's what we have to do, man. Once we once we receive this knowledge and you, you succumb, you subject yourself, you submit yourself, you're obedient to this word and you and you're sincere and following it to the best of your ability, you gotta put pressure on your Hawaii Shem Yahushai to come and redeem us out of this place, man. Because, yeah, we're calling on the destruction, but we got to also push that spirit up. You made a promise, man. You said that, you know, you would save us out of this thing. And sometimes you pray with that fervent intent of, hey, Lord, get us up out of this thing. Bob Kusha. Okay? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 19. It says, Thou have utterly rejected Judah. Ha ha Salah. Hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Has thy soul loathed Zion? Why hast thou smitten us and there is no healing for us? We look for peace and there is no good. And, and for the time of healing, behold, trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers. For we have sinned against thee. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. Okay, that's what we ask you. Okay, if there if there are any among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain, or can the heavens give showers, art not thou he, O Yahweh our power? Therefore we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made these things. Man, for thou has for thou has made all these things. Okay? So we understand that it's gonna be only the power of Yahweh Shemel Shah that can get us out of this horrible situation that we in man we dug ourselves into a ditch with uh, manifold iniquities idol worship being the chief of them you know mingling ourselves with the heathen 
and, and going into their ways. But those, but the elect, the chosen, those that have been washed by the Spirit, those whose eyes have been enlightened to the truth. Hey, Amen. It, it's our duty to call out to Yahweh Shimei Shah to save the whole nation because it, everything is lying upon the elect to, to basically live out what the prophecies say. And through and through the elect, the whole nation will come back into the glory of the, of the Heavenly Father as promised, man. But I'm going to finish up here back in Psalms 79th chapter, man. And you yeah, yeah, brothers, man, keep pushing it. Have your, when, you, when you pray, pray fervently, man. Add, you know, we hey, man, you, your children, when, you, when your children pray at night, man, hey, man, tell them, hey, pray righteous prayer. They, they, they represent you, man. So when they putting up them prayers, they putting them prayers up, you know, in your name, man. Okay? We asking for salvation out of this place, man. Redeem us, man, for your holy name's sake, for the for the for the sake of your glory on the planet Earth. We we supposed to be the vessels of your glory on the planet Earth. Don't don't let allow your glory on the planet Earth to be downtrodden and, and destroyed forever, man, and just completely wiped away. We we ask we calling for that salvation, man. We we putting pressure on your Habashi Melsha to come and crack them clouds, man, to save his people. This is back in, in, in Psalm 79 and 9. It says, Help us, O Yahweh of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore should thy, should the heathen say, Where is their power? <laughs> Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which he should. should. And, and that's really how the heathen are right now, man. They're proud. So we be like, don't let these heathens be proud, man. They they don't think that the Most High is with us. Okay. Verse eleven says, "Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee, according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord." Okay. So we thy 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 people. And sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Okay? So put pressure on Yahabashi Melsha Akiyam, man. Push it out there. Pray, man. Pray that Yahabashi Melsha. Pray that Yahabashi sent, man. And keep saying that name. They hate it when we say that name. Even when we keep saying in these videos, with Yahweh, you, 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 you know, they want to they wanna make fun, but, but there's power in that name. Keep pushing it. Pushing it with the truth, pushing it with the wisdom and the spirit that's been given unto you, and it means something. It means something. Put pressure on your heart, Bashim Yom Shah. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yom Shah, Bashim Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, out there pushing words to Syria and truth. Shalom.